Amidst the glamour of Monaco's royal palace, a scandal covered in secrecy and betrayal has rocked Monaco's royal family. Once celebrated as the poster boy of royal charm, Prince Albert II has now found himself trapped in allegations threatening to damage the monarchy's image. Secret payments to ex-lovers and illegitimate children make this saga interesting but also damaging to the monarchy's image. Thus, the big question remains. Can the monarchy stand firm against the storm, or will it be changed by Prince Albert II's choices forever? Dig deep with us as we dig deeper into this scandal that has completely darkened Monaco's royal family's image. So without further ado, let's start. But before discussing the scandal, it's also important to know about Prince Albert II. Born on the 14th of March, 1958, Albert II is the Prince of Monaco, reigning since 2005. He attended the Lycee Albert premiere before joining Amherst College to study political science. In his youth, he competed in bobsleigh during the Winter Olympics finals. He left it in 2002 with his retirement. In March 2005, he was appointed as regent after his father fell ill, and he became sovereign prince after his father's death. He is an ardent environmentalist and an advocate of ocean conservation. In 2006, he founded the Prince Albert II of Monaco Foundation to preserve ecology. And in 2011, Prince Albert II married South African Olympic winner Charlene Whitstock. He has four children. Does it sound boring to you? Concerning Prince Albert II, there is no question of boredom. Before this payment scandal, there was scandal after scandal that had scarred the prince's life and ruptured his reputation. But he is still unfazed committing one after another. In 2005, weeks after he became prince, a magazine revealed that he had a secret love child born in 2002. Four years later, in 2006, a DNA test proved that he had another child born out of wedlock. There are a few other paternity claim charges against him, including other financial scandals. But this video is not about those scandals. It's solely focused on the latest payment scandal that has shocked everyone. It is one such scandal that has captivated the attention of everyone in Monaco. Prince Albert II, the royal family's trusted associates, and even Princess Charlene. The scandal is so complex and big that it shows no sign of dying soon. It started when Claude Palmero, the former accountant of Monaco's royal family, was removed from his position after 22 years of service to Prince Albert II. Seeking revenge? Palmero provided five black notebooks to the French newspaper Le Mans. The notebooks contain detailed notes on the royal family's financial secrets. Le Mans made it big, releasing a four-part series titled The Fall of the Man Who Knew Too Much. The report shed an embarrassing light on Prince Albert's professional and personal weaknesses. The report revealed that he requested a secret bachelor apartment after his marriage in 2011. He also requested the allocation of up to 650000 annually for special funds related to undisclosed secret missions and parallel activities. Considering his previous scandals, you can understand for what reasons he needed those bachelor apartments. But the secret missions allegedly involve payments to police officers for information and retrieval of compromising photos. The former accountant also revealed that Prince Albert II had a secret bank account through which he paid money to his ex-lovers and their illegitimate children. But it doesn't mean he is the only person mentioned in this scandal. The details revealed that by December 2019, Princess Charlene had exhausted a whopping $16 million in just eight years. It is an astronomical figure because Princess Charlene receives only $1.6 million annually as her yearly allowance. Palmero's notebooks also raise concern about her unchecked spending habits, including hiring illegal migrant nannies who are without their visas or passports. The reports are that she paid as low as $100 per day to those illegal migrants. But this scandal is not just about Prince Albert II and Princess Charlene. Palmero's notebooks reveal the conflict between the principality. It details the power struggle between Palmero and Albert's advisors and Monaco's powerful real estate developer, Patrice Pastor. And there is no doubt that till now, Pastor has won this battle. 
Previously, an online site had exposed the corruption and other scandals in Albert's inner circle. Palmero also accused Albert's chief of staff, Laurent Alselmi, the prince's attorney, Terry Lacoste, and Monaco's Supreme Court president, Didier Lenot, of fraud and corruption, but all of them denied the allegations. You must be wondering how an accountant can cause such damage to a prince. This has prompted us to tell you briefly about Claude Palmero, the shadowy character. Palmero was a prominent member of the G4, or Club of Four. It is a group of four powerful individuals who used to control Monaco's super expensive property market. He served as an accountant for over 20 years for the palace. He was fired from his job in June last year. News outlet France 24 reported that an online site accused him and three of his affiliates of fraud, cronyism, and corruption. The site also alleged he wrongly influenced Monaco's rich real estate and property market. Since his expulsion from the palace, he has taken to the different courts to win back the job he inherited from his father. However, with the release of the five black notebooks, he burned his bridge with the palace and provoked a major crisis for the royal family. However, it doesn't mean that news outlets are only reporting Palmero's versions. Albert has also stated in response to the accusations. He said the attacks that Palmero made against him and the royal family and its institutions show Palmero's true nature and the little respect that Palmero has for the royal family and the principality. The prince's lawyer, Jean-Michel de Roy, told Le Mans that there is no wrongdoing on the prince's part. He added that some offshore companies were created in Panama in 1984 during Albert's father, Rainier III's time. Albert categorically told Palmero to resolve these situations, but Palmero didn't. Jean-Michel also said that the palace's budget and the prince's funds were always kept separate. Showing his support to Princess Charlene, he said that any illegal hires were ultimately Palmero's responsibility. Despite these allegations and counter-allegations, knowing what the public is thinking is important. Quite naturally, the residents of Monaco are angry with the revelations. One of the women, who knows Princess Charlene personally, said they are really out to get her. She also added that Princess Charlene didn't follow the rules as she was supposed to. She further said that no one ever liked Princess Charlene because of her cold personality. One longtime French Riviera-based blogger revealed that Monaco has always been on the news for royal family scandals. He said that nobody in Monaco is really all that shocked after the latest revelations, but the underpaid, undocumented household staff has troubled him most. A few others have said that this payment scandal is huge, but not unexpected. Media is also playing an important part in developing perceptions among the public. Understanding the media's role in a case like this is important. As mentioned earlier, the controversy erupted after the renowned French newspaper Le Monde published Palmero's allegations against the principality. Later, another French newspaper, Liberation, picked up the story and took Palmero's interview in which he revealed the existence of Albert's secret bank account under the initials AG. Later, other media houses across the world started reporting on the story. Following the reports, Princess Charlene deactivated her Instagram account, which had 4,640,000 followers. This act of hers fueled the rumors that something was wrong on her part. Things are really gloomy for the royal family. We must wait and watch what legal implications the principality faces in the future. Although Prince Albert II has rejected all the allegations made by Palmero, this time the prince is in a slightly precarious position. Last year, after his expulsion, Palmero sued the monarch in an unprecedented and potentially damaging court case. Palmero asked for around $1 million in damages from the palace. Palmero said he needed the money to repair the immense moral damage, injury, and disruption caused to his living conditions. This has not only disturbed Prince Albert, but judicial authorities also raided the properties of his four close allies last year. Amid a financial scandal, Charlene and Albert have left cover and put on a united front at Monaco's saint devote celebration. The royals stepped out with their family. As mentioned earlier, the prince released a statement saying he could appoint whoever he liked, but it only showed his arrogance. 
Monaco has attracted many celebrities and wealthy individuals in recent decades because of its sunny climate and lack of taxes. It caused a real estate boom in the country. People buy properties paying astronomical figures. Now the speculations are that the recent scandal will certainly halt the property market boom in Monaco. It will be a tough time for the royal family. There is hardly any chance that celebrities and influential people will invest in properties in this political climate. Now, the entire responsibility is on Albert's shoulders to navigate through this mess and come out clean as a monarch. We still don't know if Palmero is telling the truth or trying to damage the royal family's lineage in revenge. The sovereign family needs to restore the underlying narrative about their duty and the values that they want to uphold. They also need to present their purpose more proactively. At this point, the expectation of further wrongdoing has become prominent and popular narrative. The Grimaldi dynasty is a centuries-old dynasty, so they need to refocus on their purpose to provide stability and continuity for Monaco in the future. In firing Palmero, the prince said that he exercised his right to choose the accountant of his choice. Events have shown that his decision was right. We don't know the truth yet. However, there is no doubt that this mild-mannered accountant has caused some serious trouble for the royal family. And with this, we conclude this video. We hope you enjoyed the video. Share your favorite part in the comments section. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get regular updates.